is the point of all of this protest shit if it don't work I'm in the country right now and I'll deliver it and I'm sitting at a fucking stop and I'm waiting to get out there's a lot of cars waiting and as I'm getting the package out the back of the truck. It's a fucking hick. Speeds around me. Damn near hit me. Caught me a nigger and spit on me. Oh my god, dude. I want to bury somebody right now. Why? Why so much hate? Why so much hate? Why? Why? I don't even cry. Like, that shit just... Oh my god. Almost hit me. Called me a nigger and then spit on me. Spit on me? Really? <sighs> wow. Just wow. Wow. Called me a nigger and spit on me and almost hit me. Wow. Why? Why so much hate? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't understand. I got white family. My dad's white. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm literally stopped right now. I'm not even fucking doing anything right now. I can't. I can't even think straight right now. This shit is horrible. I think it's a lot worse than a lot of people think. It's a lot worse. Racism is lying. And if any of you ever had to fucking go through that shit firsthand, if any of you ever had to fucking experience racism firsthand, I promise you. It's not. That shit. Like, I don't, I usually, I, I'm, like, I'm usually really good with words. I don't, you know, like, I really don't let that shit get to me. But when you almost hit me and spit on me and call me a nigger, what? This world is so fucked up. So fucked up. I can't even fucking work right now. I just had to share that with y'all. And I work for FedEx. I work for FedEx. I'm doing you guys a service. And that's what I get in return. That's all. I just wanted to let y'all know how my day was going. It is going fucking horrible. I appreciate all y'all. I really do. This shit is terrible. This shit is really terrible. This shit is really terrible. And I've known. That's the worst part is I've known how terrible this shit's been. I've known. I've been known. I've been fucking seeing this shit since day one. I've been seeing this shit since I came to Brunswick since day one. I never said nothing because I don't never let words get to me. But when you almost hit me and you put your bodily fluids on me, no. No, that's not okay. That is not okay. That shit does not sit okay with me at all. 
and then you drive away like a fucking coward ass pussy. Coward ass pussy. Drive away. If you gonna have the balls and say some shit and do some shit like that, stop. I dare you. Well, better keep going, cause I'm on a fucking time limit. And it got hella stops, so I don't wanna burn too much time. But I appreciate all y'all. You know how the fuck you end this. Thanks, Dave. Fuck it. Oh. I'm so fucking angry. I am so fucking angry. Oh my god. Oh. This shit sucks. Wow. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go. But if y'all didn't see it, then I'm gonna post this to my fucking page. Later, y'all. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Thank you all for joining. Those of y'all who are new, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that way you guys can get new videos uh, coming in. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter as well, and Facebook. If you guys would like to make a PayPal donation, the link is in the description below to help support the channel. I appreciate it if you do. If you don't, that's still cool. As long as you're still keeping attention to the videos and supporting the channel as well, that's all that matters. But anyways, man, we got to talk about this guy. Um, And he goes by the name of Brandon uh, Brickskins. He's a 23-year-old driver who drives for FedEx and um, and over there in a rural, he, he was a, I guess a rural carrier over there in Ohio. Now he came across a, um, a white hick, I guess is what you want to call it, that said some racist, derogatory, disrespectful words. Um, he said he's half white, I guess, you know, his parents is white. I don't know which one or whatever, but besides the point, he's black. Um, this is sad, man. Um, I can tell you guys a short little story. I, I'm not going to go too much into it because I've got a live stream that I am going to do uh, in a few with you guys. Um, but uh, this is quite interesting, quite um, sad and, and effed up in on all types of directions. Uh, I was an incident that happened to me when I moved down to Florida and I've experienced racism for the first time um maybe it hasn't been the first time i've experienced racism um but i may have when i lived in new york but i just didn't realize it because i was a child i was a kid at the time so I, I i'm not aware of a lot of shit that goes on until you get older you know but it's a sad situation that this guy got spat on and almost got ran over by a white person um it's getting crazy out here folks and i've stated it again that I, I feel like the elites and I don't mean to really get too much in the conspiracy thing but I feel like there's a lot of people a lot of sectors of groups that's out here trying to promote a race war and um which is the new civil war that's hap that's going to happen in the United States um it's been a lot of craziness going on uh blacks have been a it's 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 hunting season for us uh, we've had guns pull out on us, uh, you know, from pr police brutality to uh, residents. It's getting a little bit out of hand. Well, not out of hand, but it's getting really out of hand now that to the point where, you know, you've got the left and you got the right that don't like each other. You got liberals and you got conservatives that are at each other's throats. Everything's to do with politics. And it's just the whole world, the whole country is just really divided, man. And it's it's really freaking sad. That we've gotten to this point that everybody's losing their minds and everyone front runner of this country the person that's in high control of this whole crazy mess that could 
possibly put a cease to it is our beloved president. And um, like I said, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. But I'm just seeing the crazy shit that's going on, man. And um, it's getting crazy out here. Um, I really think that, you know, it's it's really sad, man. It, it, it really, my heart goes out to this guy. And, you know, I'm going to talk to you about black men for for a second here. And um, I was confronted with racism. And it hurt me dearly. I didn't break into tears, but I was just more angry. I didn't feel like crying. I was just more angry and I was hurt, but I felt like I felt like beating the shit out of that guy. You know what I'm saying? For being a racist. But I've come I've come across it before where people were complete racist to me. But you gotta understand this guy's he's a kid. He's only twenty three years old, you know, even though he, he looks old. You know, he looks old in the face, but you know, he's only twenty three. Uh, being called the N-I-G-G-E-R and all that other stuff is very detrimental. And it looks like he's brought, he's been brought up in a nice neighborhood, probably, in a, you know, in a, in a nice, um, area. But unfortunately, um, you know, it's sad to say this, but unfortunately, we are living in a society where people are very, 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 very ignorant. People are very selfish people uh think for themselves and they don't think about the repercussions and consequences of hurting others so um some people are saying this is fake and all that i don't believe it's fake at all i don't believe it's fake at all because i, I understand this guy's pain but the shocking thing is is that nobody is really here's the thing man because I've experienced emotional pain before, even from women and even from racist advocates, man. And it really wanted me to break down inside and cry. I, I get it. I wouldn't, it, it's not going to take me enough for me to just get on camera and start crying like that. <coughs> but um, I totally understand where this guy's coming from. But uh, the saddened part is that a lot of black men experience a lot of pain that we have to hold inside and we're not allowed to express how we feel because society puts us at an up status to where we're not allowed to express how we feel our anger a lot of us are anger a lot of us are angry a lot of us this is why a lot of blacks we take each other's anger out on each other this is why we hate each other is because we don't know how to vent we can't vent for each other because the moment we vent, oh, you a bitch ass nigga, are oh, you crying? No, 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 why are you crying for? Stop being a punk. It's like, dude, I understand, yes, there's parts where you have to, you know, hold some masculine traits, but man, you can't be masculine all the time, man. You can't, you can't be masculine all the time. There's times when you gotta vent, you know, you gotta cry to yourself. I mean, it happens. But it's just sad that you you can't, as a man, really express your true inner feelings without being tarnished or bashed upon. I mean, these are some prime examples of what I'm talking about. And it's sad because, you know, these same type of guys that are making fun of this guy for expressing his feelings, you know, are the same type of men that would experience some sort of racism, would experience a, a death in the family. But nobody would criticize them when they cry or when shit happens to them. But the moment this guy's going through a, a post-traumatic um, experience, you know, all of a sudden he's he's a he's a he's the p-word. Here's some here's some examples of some words that were aimed across to this guy. Now I don't know if these these people were black users or white users, but it doesn't really matter. I think majority of them are men. And that's the problem with us as men, man. We don't like to uplift each other. The first thing we want to do is tear each other down. There is a systematic problem within the black community, man. And especially within black men. There is a mental disorder within the black families. Within the black family structure and the black community. And I see this is why a lot of black men say, fuck, fuck, fuck being black. Fuck, fuck dealing with black people. Because it's a waste of time. We're so, we're always tearing each other down, man. And that's the sad part. But here's some, here's some words that certain black people were saying towards this guy. Dude, man the F up. This dude is a perfect example of men that 
have taken on his baby feminine characteristics. Is this for real? Wow, you a grown ass man. Buck it up and take it. And if y'all don't want to take it, jump out your own truck and beat the ass of whoever disrespect you. Calling you the n-word and spitting on ya, man up and grow a pair. This person says anything for likes, the F. I look like recording myself crying, laugh my ass out loud, do some push-ups. White people, y'all can have this P word. This N really had heart to send this to World Star. Stop all that crying and get some ass, my Negro. Negro man up, definitely raised by single mother. Here's another disrespectful comment. What a F. Laugh my ass out loud. Get your yourself. People fight all the time. Wow. All right, this is the question that I have for a lot of these fellas because I'm assuming most of these uh, messages are from mostly men and the other messages are from females i mean i got a couple of them though but i don't want to get too much into the, the nice messages because you know they were just you know most of the message was saying you know it takes a man to, to really admit his feeling and all that other stuff but listen man i'm gonna say this real quick now all right normally i would favor more for the guys in, in certain situations but when it comes down to racism man Listen, man, that shit, that shit's been boiling our heart in all of us as people for the longest time. So it's okay to vent. There's nothing wrong with that. But let me tell y'all fellas this, okay? Since y'all want to act all tough and everything like that, and y'all making fun of this man and making these messages towards this young man, he's only 23 years old and he's working at FedEx. Some of you Negroes don't even have a fucking job or never even had a job even before the coronavirus, but yet still y'all want to make fun of this guy, which I think is quite you know, humorous at the same time. Um, number two is you guys act like y'all never been through racism before. All right. Number three. Um, imagine if this was your brother or your mother or your daughters that was experiencing some type of racism. I know y'all going to say, oh, it's because of a girl is it, different, right? Y'all just playing in the same propaganda as white supremacy and also the system has against black men now just imagine if it was one of your sons if y'all have kids and if it was your son that was experiencing something like this that's detrimental very traumatizing that a man spit on you and called you the n-word it wouldn't be so funny now would it it wouldn't be such a joke oh man the f up how many times we gotta tell us men have okay well if that's the case that's the case how about your cousin gets locked up by the police and get handcuffed and they say, man, the F up. Maybe you should listen to the cop. Maybe that shouldn't, wouldn't happen to you. Just imagine if other black folks were saying that to somebody. Nah, y'all wouldn't. Oh, no, no. It's different though, right? I get it. So call, being called the N word is okay as a pass than to be physically abused by a cop. Man, I'll tell you what. If we're thinking like this as black folks, we really got a long way to go, man. We really got a long way to go because it's 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 so hypocritical how we can be. You know, everybody wants to stand up for Black Lives Matter when a cop kills another innocent black person. But when another black person kills another black person, where are the Black Lives Matter, though? There's this one article with this one girl on World Star was saying that this one white lady was saying that the Black Lives Matter is not there to fund the, the money for the Black Lives Matter groups. They're fake sectors. And I do believe that. Some may agree with me. Some may disagree with me. But the Black Lives Matter movement isn't. Is, is, it is a movement. But there's also fake, fake sectors of groups that are claiming Black Lives Matter. And just trying to steal money from the people. And the money is not going towards a... a, a it's not going towards uh, police informant and police brutality against blacks. And you had a lot of white people that were donating the money. But this one white woman was exposing it. That, hey, there's these groups that are they're, they're claiming Black Lives Matter. But they're not for Black Lives Matter. And I totally agree with that, man. Like, this, this world is all fucked up, man. Jehovah about to come and take this world by itself, man. This, this world's all messed up. But listen, man. That's all I got to say. I was going to go ahead and do a, a live stream tonight. I'll leave it for tomorrow, folks, because 
It's getting kind of late. I got to get up early for work. And I'm hungry. So I'm about to go watch some Netflix. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys. Rate the video, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, man. Check the preview out on the next show, man. There you go. Hit that link to the previous video. Anyways, guys, I'm out.